All right, Kendra, now we're going to take a quick look of a comparison between your fly and Clady's butterfly and just point out some of those things we were talking about on your other videos. As we go into the fly stroke itself, you can kind of see how you're coming out of the water a little bit earlier. I lined it up as well as I could, um, but with your early exit, his is a little bit longer back on it, onto his legs, so it kind of uh, puts us off just a little bit in terms of where you are in your stroke and he is in his. Okay, but as you come out of the water, you can see his angle and his hands, similar to yours, but you can just see how low to the surface of the water he is. And then how yours are bending upward at a higher angle than what his are for both arms. So at this point, he's probably just an inch above the surface of the water and you can see your hands are probably four to five inches at this point and they'll raise from there. So I'm gonna raise those lines and let it go a little further. So as you get it come around to the side, you can see how low he still is and then how your hands actually rose a little bit more over the surface of the water. So you're now about six to eight inches above the surface of the water with the hands and the arms and in an awkward position for your shoulders. And you can see how his from his shoulder out to the side is a straight line on both arms. Um, just a little bit behind yours, uh, but overall not trailing by much, but it gives you kind of a view of where your arms are in space compared to his. Uh, and then as you come around to this point, you can see his still stays low, yours are, are still raising up. And then you get to this point here, um, yours are really high above the shoulders and it's causing pressure on the elbow as it bends a little bit down and then goes up into that forearm and then your hand turns out at the wrist. So I think that pressure of reaching so high is creating some of those bends, the bends in the wrist and the bends in the elbow, uh, as well as pressure on the shoulder. And you can see Clady is still thumb down really straight with his arms. So he's still in a really good position um, as far as being very low and attacking that stroke and putting as little pressure as you can in terms of butterfly on the shoulder. And then as you come over this direction, you can see his are still a lot lower and you can see how your hands are turned at the wrists and moving towards entry. And then as you enter, you've already gotten your elbows in the water, hands are still out and you can see on his view how his elbows and hands are entering at the same time and a much straighter view before he lifts those hips. Um, so hopefully you can see that a little bit and see that your arms need to come around a lot lower to the surface of the water.